Hello, welcome to Layout. I'm going to show you how to arrange your trays. Go to Window, New Tray. You can rename your tray that says Tray 1, and you could add stuff like pages, layers. When you click Add, it shows down here on the lower right. So originally, it's here on the right, like this. Tray 1 I renamed to Layers, and you can drag that to the middle, to the left, up or down. I drag it to the left, it locks there, with the Pages, Layers, and SketchUp model. This is useful so that while you're drawing here, you can just navigate to another page while also editing the styles on the right side. The same thing goes inside SketchUp, Window, New Tray, you can name this the Layer Tray, Add Layers or Tags in 2020, Scenes, maybe the Outliner. And I can put them on the left side. So that while I'm modeling, I could edit on the right side and choose visibility on the left side. We also have the scenes, base model, shortcut for adding a scene is shift 1. So for example, I want a view from here. You can press shift 1 and it adds a scene. So if I click that scene, I go back there. To disable the animation, go to view, animation, settings, and disable the scene transition. In order to update a scene, say this scene, which now has an animation, which I will disable again. I want it to be here. So I could right click and update or shift three for the shortcut that I can add. Now when I click on it, it goes here. Shortcut for shadow. F8. That's why I have a shadow toolbar up here. A shortcut for front is Shift F, right side Shift R, left side Shift L, back Shift B, and top Shift T. To switch between parallel and perpendicular, oh, parallel and perspective. I use the tilde beside the number one. When editing shadows, you could also look for a shadow tray and use sun for shading. You can make them darker or lighter. Your shadows are updated along with the scene as long as it's checked and the properties to save right here on the left side. It says properties to save shadow settings. So you have to update it again or shift F3. By default, most people use R for rectangle. Move their hand to P for push pull. Press the letter L for line and press delete to delete, which is kind of hassle because you have to move your arm all over the keyboard. So for my shortcut push pull is S and W is for line and delete is N because I do not have to move my whole arm across the keyboard. 
I could just rest my arm or my wrist and my fingers will just easily reach the shortcuts. Say push-pull at the plus sign by pressing control. Control. For x-ray mode, shift x so I could model inside as well. To hide, I use the letter H. To unhide, shift H. If I have this as a group, I can use shift V to hide the rest of the model. If I have a component I can use Shift V again to hide the rest of the model and Shift C to hide the similar components. So I could model easier without blocking visibility. To group, I just click the letter G and right click to make it a component. Other shortcuts are F5. So I can visualize before rendering by hiding the edges. F6 for the profiles, but it makes the model a bit heavier. Disable F6. F5, turn on shadows, F8. And now I can see how a render might look like without the rendering process yet. Other shortcuts used? Hmm. This uh, for other plugins. Shift, Control Shift F for the field of view, especially when you are inside, because by default, SketchUp fields of SketchUp's field of view is thirty-five. Can't see anything. Shift Z to zoom to extents. And to add shortcuts, go to Window, Preferences, Shortcuts. Let's say Preferences. My shortcut would be F3, click the plus sign to add the shortcut. I'll be uploading a file. If you want to use the same shortcuts I use, just click on import. Look for preferences 2019 data and the shortcuts I use will be imported. There you go.